Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Windows 11 is not recognizing a DVD drive. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reset the DVD drive using the registry editor. So to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type registry editor or reg edit and then select registry editor from the search results. Now in here, make sure to navigate to the following location, H key local machine, then expand system, afterwards expand current control set, then simply scroll down and find services and double click on it to expand it. And lastly, scroll way down until you find the Atapi key. Now just right click on the Atapi key, over over new and then select the key option. What you have to do now is name this key controller 0. Now just click on this controller 0 key, then on the right side make sure to create a new D word. To do this right click on an empty space, hover over new and select the D word value. Now the next thing you have to do is name this value the following. Now simply double click on it to open up its properties and in the value data make sure to set it to 1 instead of 0, then press on OK and restart your computer. You can then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to remove IDE Atapi drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window make sure to expand the IDE ATA Atapi controller section and then make sure to locate the standard dual channel PCI IDE controller. In my case I don't have a DVD drive but the similar example will be shown. So once you found it just right click on it and select the uninstall device option. Then you can just restart your computer and Windows will automatically reinstall these drivers. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to remove the upper filters, lower filters, registry key. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type regedit or registry editor and select it from the search results. Now in here, make sure to navigate to the following location. H key local machine, then system, afterwards expand current control set, and move on by expanding control, then scroll down until you find the class key and expand it, and lastly, make sure to scroll down until you find this specific key. It will be also noted in this video right here on the lower part of the desktop. Now once you access this key, you'll see that you have two registry keys, lower filters and upper filters. Make sure to select both of them, right click on them and then select the delete option. You can now press on enter, then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to update the DVD driver or uninstall the DVD device. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and then in the Device Manager window make sure to locate the DVD CD-ROM drives. Now expand it and afterwards you will find the product that contains your DVD drive. Right click on it and then you can select either update driver if you want to firstly try to update the driver and lastly uninstall the device. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.